then yeah. So I need to go to the craft store to get some yarn and as you can see I made two ruffle hats with this batch of yarn that I got but I still got to make two more and I wanted to wait because I need to make a tutorial for how to make those ruffle hats. So as you can see I need to make a green one still and a black one so yeah here's the yarn that I got. Okay guys finished with my hair. to this studio vlog i'm not sure what it's gonna be it's like a crochet with me or like a pinterest chooses what i crochet i don't know but i am going to make a video because now i have time and i'm so excited to be back into making videos and even more than making videos crocheting because i love to crochet a couple days ago i got some yarn and i want to make some more ruffle hats i made this like blue and white ruffle hat for a commission it was a custom order i really really liked how i made it i used my pattern but i kind of modified it a little bit and it looked drastically different than my other ruffle hats that i usually make so i want to make that one again i got some yarn this is can you guys see it let me try it. Is some loops and thread yarn. But yeah, this is some loops and thread yarn that I want to use. And I want to make like a cute little pink ruffle hat. So yeah, let's get into that. Okay guys, so I've already started on the second row of the base. Actually, I'm finished with the second row of the base. I think I'm gonna read some unpopular opinions. We're gonna see how that goes. I think I wanna do that. I did a poll on Instagram and I also did some on YouTube. Also, some of them are similar, so I'm gonna just read them both if they're like similar. The first one says, full length crochet pants are just not it. Someone also said that crochet pants seem uncomfy. No offense, but I can't imagine wearing it a few hours without it scratching. Crochet pants seem itchy, cute, but uncomfy. To be honest, I actually kind of agree to a certain extent because I feel like crochet pants are like not practical slash they are kind of like, they seem like they'll be uncomfortable to wear. So like it's kind of that kind of falls into like the practicality of the crochet pants. But I feel like in a artistic way, they could be really cool and you can add some really cool stitches to make something more artistic regardless of if it's practical or not so i think that crochet pants are actually i see crochet as more art of an artistic thing i don't see it as like something like oh my god you ha it has to be a wearable that has to you know i just see it in like an artsy thing so i think crochet pants are kind of cool i haven't made any myself but i actually want to make some i've seen like a lot of cute ones on tiktok and pinterest and they look really really cool so i think if you use like a certain type of yarn it can make it better or worse but i've never made them so i'm going to say that i slightly disagree with this uh actually i'm going to say that i agree because yeah i feel like crochet pants can be uncomfortable especially depending on the yarn that you use but in an artistic way i think they're really cool and i think that you shouldn't just not make them i feel like you should make stuff even if it's uncomfortable because um the uncomfortable stuff is cute like so yeah uh i think you should sacrifice practicality for artistry Here is the progress on the ruffle hat. I'm almost finished with the base, um, still have a couple more rows to do, but, and now I think it's time to read another unpopular crochet opinion. Some of these are kind of popular actually, but let's see, which one should I read? Okay, I'll read this one. 
This one says, crocheting is not relaxing. Every time I'm working on a project, I'm stressed. I guess it just depends. Crochet can become like kind of not relaxing, especially when you're trying to make so many different things at a time. And crochet actually takes a long time. Like it's not a quick process for like instant gratification unless you make something really quick. So I can see how it can become stressful. And then when you make content on top of it, you kind of lose that intrinsic motivation. It becomes extrinsic because then you want to like make stuff that will get good views or stuff that you think other people will like versus things that you think are going to help you creatively, which I kind of actually fell into because I was making just things that I didn't want to make and then I would get like super burnt out. Yeah, crochet takes a long time, so it can be a little bit stressful, but I say try and make sure you're not just making things just to sell it. Make things because you think it's going to help your skills or it's something you genuinely want to create or something that you're interested in. If you make things and, and you're like bored or burnt out or you're tired of making it, yeah, crochet will become stressful. Like don't compare your skills to other people. I think like learning crochet skills can take a lot of time and and um, a lot of different projects to help you like really really learn all the different techniques so yeah I kind of agree with that crochet is kind of stressful it's not really that common to me but like when I'm making stuff like cat beanies which are like super simple I can almost make those with my eyes closed so stuff like that I think those are pretty like therapeutic to make it depends on what you're making I finally finished the base and now it's time to start the ruffles I'm so excited to start the ruffles because even though it's the most tiresome part it's the most rewarding and most exciting part so it's actually a whole other day and now I'm going to just add this pink light pink color to the bottom of this ruffle hat yeah I want to see how it's going to turn out right now I'm just weaving in the end from this magenta color but now I'm gonna add in this okay guys so here's the finished product on this hat I really really love these two colors together and yeah I love it I knew it was gonna turn out really cute so this is really really cute so this is gonna be on my website of course if you guys want this exact one I used my ripple hat pattern but I kind of tweaked it a little bit at the end now I need to um, learn how to make this like granny square cardigan because I kind of wanted to make well I already made the hexagon granny square cardigan but now I need to make like these flowers I want to put at the back I think I'm gonna like look that up and learn how to make that and I want to add that to my hexagon cardigan that I wanted to make so yeah let me show you guys the pieces here are the two pieces so I just want to make a granny square hexagon cardigan it's actually for my mom's birthday but yeah she doesn't know that I'm making that for her and blue and green is her favorite color so yeah here's one half of it and then I also have the other half as well yeah I actually need to hurry up and make this because it's in one week her birthday's in one week so so here's the other side so I'm gonna use the same colors to make the African granny squares like to go down the middle of it yeah I'm gonna use this like this like sequency yarn I want to go kind of like kind of be intertwined in some part of the granny square and of course I'm gonna use the same colors and then I have this like light turquoise blue it's like a thinner yarn I actually got this yarn off of eBay I'm gonna use those four colors to make the African granny square so I'll get back to you guys when I actually make the granny square because I'm really excited about this and I've never made an African granny square before I'm so proud of these because at first I was like I thought it was gonna be really hard to make this but they actually are really quick and they work up well they're not quick I won't say that because it took me a while but it's quick to learn and the first one took me a while to make but when I made the second half of this it took me like a week or so but I don't understand how people are finishing these in days I kind of want mine to be like oversized so I'm making it like bigger and yeah I'm really really excited about finishing up this here's my progress on the African granny square this is so pretty like even by itself this is already really pretty I have the finished African granny square I just th I just have to go around with like another border I thought this was gonna be really difficult to do but it actually looks really really cute and then I'm making another one but I'm making it green to go along here here are all the granny squares I have done so far. I'm not exactly sure how many I'm gonna need because I'm gonna have to make it go all the way down like the back side. So I'm just making just any amount right now. But yeah, I'm gonna make another one of these ones next. I'm right here right now getting ready to make some more. I severely underestimated how much yarn I was gonna need. So yeah, I'm gonna need to buy some more skeins. Okay guys, so here's how my squares are looking. Oh, bear. Okay, so now I've actually outlined all of them. So at first it was just like this part, but I've added this border to all of them. Let's crochet a ripple hat. It's literally so pretty.
Okay, I finished the first row. Here's my progress on the base. Okay guys, so here is the finished ruffle hat. I really love how it turned out and I really love how I inverted the colors. Like here it's green with a blue outline and then it's blue with a green outline. I think that's so cute. So pretty, like look at the loops, look at the ruffles, they're so cute. And on this side, I think this side is my favorite actually. Here's this part being sewn together. Well, I'm using a single crochet to join the granny squares with the cardigan. See, on the back, it's single crochet. But this part sticks out, so it's on the back. And then up here, it's flat. Okay, so I'm sitting in the car and I'm weaving in some ends. Some of them I am just cutting off. Yeah, I'm really just proud of how I made this entire thing work and I'm getting it finished on the day of that it's due. I did underestimate how much time I would need to finish like all the intricate parts of this because it's not just like crocheting, it's also like weaving in ends, like making sure things are even, all the extra stuff. And then like leaving in room for like your thought process on like what you, what part you have to do next, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, but I'm so proud of how it looks and like it's really oversized and I'm so excited for mommy to see it. The flowers look so good in the back. Oh my God, they're so pretty. Okay guys, so I'm actually outside because I'm trying to film myself wearing this cute cardigan that I made and it's so cute and my mom absolutely loved it so i'm so excited about that i'm so glad that she liked it i'm like so satisfied with how it turned out and i don't know i just couldn't be more happier like it's so cute especially considering this is my first time making this one and i didn't even make a normal granny square cardigan i made one with like a center in the background with these flowers and it was my first time making the flowers too so yeah really excited i'm so happy with how this turned out Okay guys, so I finished making this beautiful, beautiful cardigan. Thanks to my sister for helping me so much. Um, I really appreciate it because I was gonna just come out here with a tripod and then just record. But I was like, no, I want a real human to help me. So I finished making this cardigan in time, which I was actually afraid that I wasn't gonna finish making it in time, but I did. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for tuning into this video and watching it, especially if you made it this far. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.